Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. Today I have a short video for you. I'm going to be talking about some sunscreen. So I am often asked what my favorite sunscreen is and to be honest, I truly haven't used a sunscreen until like maybe a month and a half ago, two months ago. Um, so I have a few to show you here. So I'm actually going to start with my favorite. I'm not going to make you wait. Um, I hate when people make me wait. <laughs> so I have the Lyra SPF Solar Shield 30 Classic Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This has 21% zinc oxide. I don't have the box. Actually, I do have the box, but I posted already. I should have already posted um, a video talking about the Lyra brand. I'll quickly go over the ingredients here. So I, I love this one and I actually have it on my right side of my face. I'm not sure what side it'll be for you, but this is my right. And I, um, in the Lyra review video, I demonstrate, um, applying it. So this has a slight tint to it and, um, I just feel like it evened out my redness. It, look at my under eyes. It kind of, um, diminished how like dark it was it kind of like even the, the skin around there it kind of it i feel like it brightens my skin as well um and it sort of like gives me a veil of like even skin tone i just i love this spf so i tried a sample of it um and loved it so much um an esthetician named Sarah from Lola Glow sent me a sample as well as some other products from Lyra to try and I loved it so much that I bought this as well as other products from the brand um, and I've been using it almost every single day. I have to kind of like slow down my use of it because I have other sunscreens that I want to try out and like use up so um, I do want to mention that this product does have lots of like dimethicone ingredients in it at least eight it's got a lot of silicone in the beginning of the ingredient list however don't let that deter you um if you're afraid of silicone so i have acne prone skin rosacea prone skin um clogged pore skin like crazy and actually as you can see right now i did explain in the lyra video but i had a lot of clogged pores that i um popped i don't feel like this is making me break out or um get clogged and it's not making my skin react at all i think what was leading to those breakouts is something else um i have been on a strict biologic research skincare um regime for the last like two weeks and um i've been testing the Lyra products for at least two months um so for the last two weeks, I've only been using Biologic, but not the full line because I've been um, feeling very flushed and I've been um, I've been getting a lot more rosacea. So um, don't let these clogged pores fool you. I don't think that this is it. So, but besides the silicone, there are so many other great, great ingredients in this in this um, product. It's got niacinamide, so sodium hyaluronate, beta glucan, ubiquinol, resveratrol, ceramides, um, like three of them, phytosphingosine, I don't know, um, cholesterol, jojoba seed oil, sweet almond oil, aloe leaf juice, uh, some extracts, oat, straw extract, orange peel extract, rose canina, fruit extract, cucumber fruit extract, um, a ton of extracts, cell cultures, like, um, like leaf cell culture extracts, uh, licorice root extract, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, uh, thyme extract, ginger root extract, oak kernel flour, sodium ascorbyl phosphate. Uh, yeah, so there's a ton of, sorry, I'm like, the label is so tiny i feel across right now um so there's a ton of great ingredients in here and um i i just love this i love it so much that it's gotten me on a skincare or sunscreen like hook and now i want to try all the skincare or now i want to try all of the sunscreens on the market <laughs> um but i just i love this like slight tint because i don't wear foundation i barely wear concealer nowadays um and i just i love this tint 
and I'll just like throw on a bronzer and call it a day. Maybe like brush up my eyebrows with like a brow gel and call it a day. Been very lazy with my makeup. So love this. Next one I want to talk about with a tint is the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 Universal Tint. It's broad spectrum, oil free, contains anti-aging ingredients. It's got zinc oxide 12% and octinoxate 7.5%. So I am super irritated by sunscreens. Like I said, they break me out, they clog my pores, they give me rosacea, but the most annoying thing to me is that they sting the crap out of my eyes. This stings me so bad, and every time I use it, I get like a rash um, in this area of my skin, um, and it sucks because this has a beautiful finish, and actually I'll put it on to show you, but it, al it also has octinoxate, so it's not reef safe, and I didn't really know about all this stuff when I purchased it. I just know that I purchased it for like $12 and I bought two, one for me and one for my mom. My mom loves it, but she doesn't have half the sensitive sensitivity that I have. She has like, like strong skin. Um, but yeah, so I didn't know that this would irritate me. Dr. Dre on YouTube recommended this. She also recommends a lot of other sunscreens, but I was so sold on this one, especially with like her, um, how it left like a shellac kind of like glow tint to her skin, but I, I cannot use it. I hate this. Um, so it's got, um, cyclopentaloxane, um, as the second ingredient, water's first. Niacinamide, uh, what other ones? Some ingredients that I don't recognize, um, glycerin, some extract, sodium hyaluronate, uh, vitamin E, other ones I don't, and I, th I think the rest might be just like binders or silicone or, um, like preservatives or whatever. Um, I'm not sure. So, uh, the Lyra has a lot more, a lot more ingredients that are beneficial to the skin. This is more anti-aging than this, in my opinion. And not reef safe, irritates my skin, irritates my eyes. I would not recommend this. I have like super sensitive eyes. If you have sensitive eyes, don't try this. Um, and I always bring my uh, sunscreen up around my eye. I'm not gonna use a separate sunscreen for my eye. Like that's just, I know me and I know that I'm too, like I haven't used sunscreen until like two months ago, <laughs> um, my whole life. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you how, what it looks like. I'll pump it out here first. And it's got a very similar tint to the Lyra. I'll actually put them side by side, even though I have the Lyra on my skin. Oh, some popped out in the lid already. The one thing I don't like about this Lyra run is this squeeze tube. I wish it came in a pump. <laughs> okay. So this is the Lyra, this is the Dermatology. Both have a super sheer tint. I'll put the Lyra on my skin first. Well, go like that. And then I actually really like the tint of the Dermatology. It's like almost a slight bit more like yellow. And then the Lyra is like maybe a little more neutral because Lyra is not pink. Things that run pink on me don't work well. Um, the, both of these will work on all skin tones. Um, so I'm gonna wipe the dermatology on this side and the Lyra on this side. I'm just gonna, I already have the Lyra on my skin, but I'll just do another layer. Wipe my hand off. And then this is the Dermatology, I'm actually going to put a little bit more. So the Dermatology has a more wet finish to the skin, which I love. Um, it just looks so beautiful. Like, look at that glow. That's what convinced me to buy it. And this is the Lyra. The Lyra has been 
dry on my skin on this side for um, at least 30 minutes at this point um, because I filmed a video where I demonstrated putting it on this side of my skin. And this is the this is the dermatology. So the Lyra has a more like kind of flatter look to it, but it's not matte by any means. But look at that beautiful glow from dermatology. My mom loves this one. And I just, I love the way it looks too on the skin. It's just like the irritation is like no other. And I've been, I've been like using the Lyra when I want this uh, finish. I'll just put the Lyra around my eyes and then I'll put this around my face or Sometimes I'll just put it like in this area and on my neck just to use it up because I don't want to waste it. Um, but maybe I should just give it to my mom because I know she'll go through it really quickly. So I'm going to let this dry while I talk about the other two sunscreens that I have. And maybe there won't be that much of a difference. But um, I think that this one just like the finish is slightly more glowy. However, I do want to say that Lyra feels like nothing on my skin and I can already feel this side of my skin like it just feels like a a layer and I wonder if it's because I'm so sensitive I'm starting to feel the irritation or something um but yeah so the next two that I have here are the Josie Moran SPF 47 Argan Daily Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 47 and Sun Boost ATP um, this is just a sample and this is not the tinted version. They have a tinted version This is a sample. This is not gold fade in MD. This is the Soleil du jour um, SPF 45 broad spectrum for the face and it comes in like a black bottle. I'll try to insert a picture here My friend Shayna actually sent me a sample of this. She bought the full size of it and um, I had been super into sunscreen so she was like, I'll just send you a sample. Um, so I wanna compare these two as well. These both do not have a tint. So the Josie Moran has 5.1% has titanium dioxide and 6.4% uh, zinc oxide. It's got silicones in it, but like lower into the list. Fifth and sixth in ingredient. It's got some um, argan oil in it, uh, coconut oil. It's got some beeswax, jojoba seed oil, oh, more dimethicone and, uh, and silicones lower in the list. Green tea leaf extract. This uh, is $34 for two ounces. And before i i think this was the first one i i tried out of all of them this was my favorite and i liked it because it didn't dry my skin out and um it was super moisturizing and it i love the way this smells oh my god it smells so good oh it smells like um citrus lemon i feel like lavender too but i don't i don't think there's Oh, so this also has fragrance in it. So um, this lists fragrance, but it says naturally derived. I wish they would just like say what was in it, but gosh, it smells so good. Um, and then the Soleil du Jour has. So the Soleil du Jour is um, 1.35 fluid ounces for $55. However, it's sold on Derm Store. You can always get um, coupons on Derm Store as well. It... Um, has let's see what ingredients it's got titanium dioxide 4.8 percent and zinc oxide five percent and this one has no dimethicone if i am correct or silicones no it actually does it has dimethicone <laughs> sorry this has um and the reason why i'm saying uh dimethicone and silicone is um Previously, I thought that silicones broke me out or clogged my pores, um, but I don't feel like they do if they are well formulated. I have nothing, no issues with dimethicone, but I know some people are very uh, strict about not having that in their um, uh, SPFs. And actually, I'm super interested in trying a SPF without silicone to see what it feels like. Uh, but I feel like I can't, it's so hard to find one without silicones in it. So 
It's got aloe leaf juice as the first ingredient, alumina, aluminum stearate, water, visible, green tea leaf extract, and a ton of like peel oils, other oils. It's got peptides, um, panthenol, jojoba seed oil, sodium hyaluronate, thyme, grapeseed oil, tetrahexyl, decal, scorbate. This has a lot more ingredients that I prefer over the um, uh, Josie Moran, Moran. However, I do want to mention that the Josie Moran is more hydrating than the Soleil du Jour, but um, the Soleil du Jour, when I apply it to my skin, it looks almost glassy. It looks poreless. It looks super tightening. And then the Josie Moran looks very hydrating, um, kind of like this glossy look on like the dermatology side. <clears throat> But um, I find that the Josie Moran will slip from my oily spots um, in like humid weather more so than the Soleil du Jour. But I find that the Soleil du Jour is a bit more drying um, over the day. So if you have dry skin, the Josie Moran would be better. And then if you have oily skin or if you didn't mind like the drying nature of the Soleil du Jour, but because you had like a good skincare regimen that like kept you moisturized all day, I would go with the Soleil du Jour. I think I will purchase the full size of the Soleil du Jour because I just, I loved the effect it gave my skin. Um, but I, I'm not done testing sunscreen, so I do want to try other sunscreens. Um, and I'm not against chemical sunscreens, but I don't like the ones available in the United States. So if you have a recommendation of a chemical sunscreen from overseas, Europe, Asia, anywhere um, that uses other um, newer chemical sunscreens, chemical filters, uh, please let me know. My skin, my eyes are super, super sensitive and I am prone to like irritation and rosacea. Um, I don't mind a hydrating one. I don't mind a matte one, um, but I am interested in other sunscreens. But if you also have like 100% mineral ones um, that, uh, that you like, please let me know too. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I'll show you what these look like. And these are both non-tinted. So this is, I'm just going to show you a small swatch. That one was the Josie Moran. And this one is the Soleil du Jour. So the Josie Moran is like almost thinner when you first put it on, kind of like more oily. And then the Soleil du Jour is like thicker and but it feels like a, a like a dry thickness you know whereas the Josie Moran feels very slippy oily I loved the texture of it too um and I don't find that these take a while to rub in on my skin if you have darker skin than me you obviously might be um rubbing it in for quite some time but uh I love the glow that both of these give um the Josie Moran just has like a I, I just love that glow however the one thing that I didn't like after trying all of these sunscreens is the Josie Moran does feel a little bit heavier um in this area of my skin and it does feel like it moves a bit more and I don't like that um I also don't want to set my skin with powder um I like a sunscreen that kind of dries down a bit um and then the Soleil du Jour just feels beautiful I love the Soleil on my skin it like immediately dried down and like when you put it on your face it just feels like when I have my whole skincare on my skin just feels like porcelain with the Soleil du Jour. So I really like that one a lot. And I like the ingredients. I know that they have um, some like oil, oils, like fruit oils in there um, that might irritate some people. Um, I never have a problem with like oils, essential oils, like anything like that irritating my skin. Um, so uh, if, if that's you, um, just make sure you're reading the ingredients and just like stay away from what you don't like. Um, so yeah, those are them. And I I like that, like just look at that Josie Moran glow, just so beautiful. Um, 
but I don't know. I just, I don't think I would purchase the full size. Before I tried all of these, I was actually going to purchase the full size of that one, but I'm glad I didn't because then I have way too much sunscreen to go through, but I'm probably going to buy a ton more soon. So um, now that the dermatology has dried down, um, you can kind of see that like, get closer to the camera. Um, I don't think that it's too different. There's a slight gloss on this side versus this side. And they, they feel super similar. Actually, the Lyra kind of feels a little drier to the touch, whereas the Dermatology feels a little bit more like it's left behind more moisture on my skin. Um, but yeah. So, yeah. If you don't have sensitive skin and you are not concerned about the reefs, then dermatology would be um, probably your best bet. It's the cheapest out of all of them. And I know that they have um, sales all the time. I think I got that one for like $14. Um, but if you have sensitive skin, the Lyra, Josie Moran, and Soleil Du Jour do not irritate my skin at all. Um, of all of these, I feel like the Josie Moran is the more most moisturizing. Um, and my favorites are the Lyra and the Soleil Du Jour um, SPF. So that is it for now. I'm super interested in trying the um, Color Science Glow version. It's got like a super pretty sheen. Um, and I'm like dying to try that one. Um, but if you have any recommendations, please leave them down below because I'm like a sunscreen freak at this point. I also do want to mention that Lyra has a lot more, um, a lot of other options. Maybe I mentioned it at the beginning of the video. I actually can't remember, but Shayna did buy a different version of it. So I'm going to link her, um, YouTube down below. Hopefully she would have already talked about it by then, uh, by this time. But if she hasn't just message her <laughs> um and ask her what she thinks about it um because i think it's like a it's called like a bb bright and it's supposed to like brighten your skin um it's supposed to like uh match lighter skin tones better too um so i don't know um ask her about that because now i'm super interested in like all that lyra has to offer because it's been so good on my sensitive skin and i just i i, I don't know i really love like a sheer tint um but it has to be calming and I am obsessed with the Soleil Du Jour but the only thing that I would say is just it's a little dry on my skin as the day goes on um but yeah so if you have any questions please leave them please leave them down below and I will see you in my next video bye